Hi everyone, this is a quick demonstration of the integration between Aruba's Amigapod Visitor Management Platform and Palo Alto Network's User ID Agent, brought to you by NCI. Before we jump into the demo, I just wanted to give a quick explanation of what we're going to be talking about. And really the demo is centered around the difference between wired access, where we physically connect and authenticate to a domain or LDAP or something like that and are given access based on IP address or in PAN's case based on our user identity. And on the other side of the coin we've got wireless access. Again same thing we have to authenticate to the network before we even get on and then we can be assigned firewall policies based on IP address or user identity. And what the integration between PAN and Amigapod means is that we can collapse those two into one and say wired and wireless share the same user identity between the two of you. Some housekeeping for the Amigapod we're using the latest version which is 3.5 at the time of this recording. For the Aruba controller we're using 6.1.2.5 again the latest version and for Palo Alto Network's user ID agent 4.1.1-7 again the latest at the time of the recording. So let's get started. You'll notice in the bottom right hand corner there is a picture in a picture that's my wireless client and the main screen that we're looking at here is the Amigapod administration page. So from time to time I'll be moving the picture and picture around. So let's log into the Amigapod and we're going to just check the active sessions and make sure that nobody's actively connected right now to our network. Let's do a refresh here. Okay, so nobody's actively connected right now before we start. We'll jump on to the Aruba controller, do the same thing, nobody's connected. Now let's take our client laptop and connect it to the wireless network which is using a captive portal for authentication hosted on the Amigapod. So we'll just take a second here for the client to get connected. Okay, that should do it. Let's bring up our supplicant here and make sure it says we're connected. Yes. And if we look on the Aruba controller we now have a Windows machine connected in the user role Amigo guest logon. Let's go over to the Amiga pod and refresh and we should have no active sessions because we haven't actually logged into the captive portal yet. And lastly we'll look at the pan agent and make sure that it doesn't have any active sessions yet. Okay, So there it is, no active sessions either. Now let's actually take our wireless client and authenticate to the captive portal and see what happens. This is where the magic should happen. Let's bring up the portal. It's just a demo so we're using the self-signed certificates. We'll log in with a user account that's actually in Active Directory. The Amigapod box is acting as a radius server but can pull users from Active Directory. So we'll log in there we are, we're on the web, let's make sure we can load another site just in case that was cached. Okay, so we're surfing, we'll refresh the Amiga pod, there we can see Amiga Man is logged in, we can see IP address, role information, time the session started and things like that. If we look at the Aruba controller, Amiga Man, the role, capture portal authentication, and on the PAN agent we can now see that Amiga Man has authenticated and Palo Alto can now assign policies according to the user that was used to log in to the captive portal. So we'll log out of the captive portal and the PAN agent is immediately informed that that user is no longer connected to the network which is pretty cool. We'll refresh our clients. We can see that our 
Aruba controller now sees them as in the guest logon role again, and no longer in the employee role. And if we refresh AmigaPod, we no longer have any active sessions. That's the end of our demonstration showing how Aruba's AmigaPod can be used to pass the identity information of a wireless user to the Palo Alto user ID agent. The benefit being that you can now apply the same policies to a user regardless of whether he's on the wired side or the wireless side. The other neat thing we saw was that the AmigaPod would actually inform Pan when the user disconnected and Pan would immediately remove him from the user table. For more information about Palo Alto Networks or Aruba Networks, please contact us via our website www.nci.ca. There's a contact us link. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.